Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about Lonigo. Lonigo generally is seen in two conditions. The first one is eating disorders. It can be observed in malnourished patients. When found along with other physical symptoms, for example, Lonigo can help a physician make a diagnosis of anorexia or bulimia nervosa, but it's commonly seen in anorexia patients. It's soft, feathery hair that can grow all over the body, but it's most commonly seen on the back and shoulders. It's the body's strategy to protecting itself against heat loss associated with extreme thinness. Adults who develop Lanigo as a symptom of anorexia or other health conditions will lose the Lanigo hairs as those conditions are successfully treated. For example, in anorexia, the hairs will disappear as they recover through improved nutrition. Another place that you can see Lanugo is newborns, especially premature newborns. Lanugo is the hair that covers the body of some newborns and most fetuses develop Lanugo around the fourth or fifth month of pregnancy. It serves a great purpose inside the uterus. It helps the cheese-like substance called vernix to adhere to the baby's skin by acting as a physical anchor. This, in turn, helps the vernix fulfill its purpose of keeping the baby's skin protected from the amniotic fluid. And it's not a serious condition. If your child is born with Flanigo, it will most likely fall out and go away on its own within a few weeks. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, push that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and see you on the next videos.